This is a quick how-to for my master lock safe space. This particular model is 5400D, um, but all the models work similarly. Um, you basically open it up and when you get it, when you first purchase it, it's gonna be factory default set to, uh, four, uh, to four zeros. And you just open that bad boy and the guy opens up. Um, now to reset, to change the uh, code to whatever you want, you're gonna go in in and down and you can come back up here and set it to be whatever you want uh, 111 or whatever the heck it is um, then you're gonna come back in here and put it back close it and you're good to go and then when you come on in uh, and you you change the setting come back to 111 and it's gonna open up no problem one of the quick note uh, just to, to get it on to, so I use this for um, securing my key when we're diving or swimming or whatever uh, at the beach. Uh, and this is how you open it up to attach it to, say, the underside of your car, your toe, um, your toe, toe eye bolt. Um, what I tend to do, since I have a, I have a Prius, um, my whole key, at least with, I like an oversized, I, I tend to carry mine on a carabiner, my, my keys. Um, and my default uh, uh, ring, key ring, which I like a lot because it, it floats easily on my carabiner. Problem with that is the whole thing doesn't easily fit in there. So I'll just come in, pull this dude off the emergency key, and leave that on my keychain, and then just put this guy in here. One last note um, for these keyless fob entries. This metal in this particular master lock isn't strong enough necessarily to block the RF signal. So what I just tend to do is I just take a little bit of tin foil, uh, wrap this guy in there, and then put this guy inside. And that'll be such that when it's inside, uh, hanging from my car, it's not going to uh, allow anyone to get into my car. That's how I do my uh, beach coastal locking when I want to leave my keys with my car and not take them underwater.